Okay, today we're going to be doing an overview of the Nature's Comfort Model GT6000 Outdoor Wood Gasification Boiler. It's EPA Phase 2 certified and New York State DEC approved. Uh, on the front of the unit here on the very top we have a removable panel that houses the horizontal tubes. There are six three inch tubes that go from the back of the stove uh, and carry the exhaust up and out the top. And then next down we have the uh, main load door for the primary burn chamber. And that's where you load all your wood and where the primary combustion uh, takes place. And down below we have the secondary burn chamber and that's where the gases are reignited and creates about a 2200 degree flame uh, that helps give us that almost 90 percent efficiency in the Nature's Comfort GT6000. First I'm going to pull this top panel off and uh, show you what it looks like in there. I've got these bolts loosened up already. Uh, comes with a tool that allows you to loosen up all these nuts and you have a panel here, uh, insulated board and rope seal and inside here is the tubes and when you have to clean this unit out you use this brush, uh, comes with a nice handle on the end and you just run this through these tubes pulling it back and forth pretty quick operation usually needs to be done 10 to 14 day intervals uh, the next thing we're going to take a quick look at is the primary burn chamber we've got a nice large door for loading uh, in the very back there you can see the duct work where the primary air comes into the firebox and then if you see that square duct work that goes down below that that goes in for boost air for the secondary burn chamber and I'll see if I can show you a quick look see inside here uh, this this unit has a lot of fire brick inside of it and I can't really see very well pretty bright out but I'll show you that later in another uh, in another segment I'll cover each specific chamber and then down below here is the secondary burn chamber and this unit you open this up and this is designed in here to keep this fireproof door tight against the fire brick on the inside so this is removable and then you've got the stainless steel fire brick lined insulated secondary door access for the secondary burn chamber and let's see if we've got uh, a view inside there that you can see yeah that's not too bad so in this unit the upper row there of three the very center one is where the exhaust gases come out of the primary burn chamber down into this chamber and that tube I showed you up in the primary burn that goes down for boost air that boost air comes out in this slot and while I'm talking about that slot this tool is uh, good for keeping the slot in the primary burn chamber from getting filled up with deposits because you got to keep that passage open that's the only where place that the exhaust can go so that secondary air comes in here goes up mixes with the gases that are coming out of the primary burn chamber and 
that door seals all this off so there's nowhere for it to go except to the back of the boiler. So it goes to the back <clears throat> and then these upper right and left hand passages is where those hot gases now in the 2200 degree range are can travel forward and then they come up here and there's a slot right here between the top and the bottom the gases can go down into the bottom and work aft from there so keep in mind all this area is lined it's a water jacket so you've got water exposed to all that. The fire brick protects the metal and holds the heat in. And in a minute here, we'll go around to the back and I'll show you the back of the unit where those gases go through. So for the moment, uh, GT6000 from the front side, it's rated at 250,000 BTUs per hour. It is EPA phase two qualified. Uh, this unit will heat up to about 6,000 square feet. Uh, it's, it's a very efficient boiler. Uh, Dave from Nature's Comfort did a great job designing this boiler and uh, he's, he's got some more things in the mix that'll be coming out, we'll be showing you soon. So. That'll end this series on it. Our next one will cover the uh, tubes and the backside and, and control systems of the boiler.